No Man's Sky, I started playing it way back in 2016 in a flat version and honestly it was so overhyped and it really under delivered and it really just wasn't the game that I expected it to be. Then in 2019 I played it in virtual reality for the first time in PC VR and it blew my mind but still it wasn't quite there with what we wanted the game to be. Now we move forward into 2024 and I'm playing this bad boy on the PSVR 2 and in my opinion I think the PSVR 2 is really the definitive addition to be playing No Man's Sky on. It's not only an incredibly complete game but it has so much to do in it, really crowning it as probably the best survival game in all of virtual reality and not just that, the definitive way to play this game now is on the PSVR 2 with the OLED screens making every colour pop and every single experience being enhanced by the fact that you have the amazing haptics in the controllers. This is genuinely one of the top tier god mode of survival gaming in virtual reality and today we're going to dive back in because I wanted to check out the experience after its most recent update, giving it the graphical bump that it deserves on the PSVR 2 and of course making it look just that bit more crispy nice. So without further ado, if you enjoy this video, smash like, subscribe and all that good stuff, let's dive into the video and check out No Man's Sky on the PSVR 2. Here we are back in No Man's Sky, warping to a new galaxy. Now the reason I've jumped back in this today is number one, wow this looks insane. Uh, I've already declared this game as one of those games that is just the best it can be experienced on the PSVR 2 and I genuinely believe that with the eye tracking, the haptics, the visuals and everything else that goes along with this, there is no better way to explore this game than in virtual reality. Get wrecked. Oh my god. Look at the details in this now. Holy crap. Wow. I mean, this just looks beyond good. In my opinion, this is just beyond good. Good God, man. We're just in here today anyway. I just wanted to come here, take a look, see what everything's doing, and honestly see what this brand new update has brought to this game. Uh, I had heard that visuals had improved yet again, so... I mean, already I am pretty inclined to agree with this. Uh, we are again in just a creative mode. I didn't want to go hardcore on this schnitzel. I just want to jump in and experience it for what it can be. And damn, it does not disappoint me ever. I mean, just the feeling, the feeling of flying in this game. And it truly is nothing else like this, I don't think, in VR. Ooh, this is a cool looking planet, actually. Let me slow down a little bit and appreciate this. Well, hello there, bulbous bean plants. You know, there's one thing that I've never seen in all of my time in No Man's Sky, and that is one of these giant earthworms flying out of the ground. I've always wanted to see it, never have succeeded. Damn, there's like spatial warping on the glass. That's kind of insane, look at that. Whoa, that's a very cool feature. Bo -bo 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 God, it looks so damn good. Honestly, if you're looking for a survival game, like there, there is no need to look any further. And also, if you're looking for something that you just want to be able to pump a ton of hours in, let go, pump a ton of hours into, again, this is definitely going to be the game for you. There is no if, buts, or maybes. This game just fulfills all the needs of a survival game. If you want to build, if you want to get out there and explore, if you want to hunt for harvest, if you want to build out bases, if you want a multiplayer, it's got you, bro. It's kind of insane when it comes to that. Whoa, look at this place. Run my way up here. I run my way up here. Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. Look at that sunset over there. That is actually cool. Got the sun rising over the mountains there. Good God, this is freaking beautiful. The vivid colors in this headset, man, this is when the PSVR 2 just shines so freaking bright. There's no screen door, there's no mirror, there's no like reprojection going on. There's nothing freaky or weird that you don't want to experience inside of a headset. The only thing there is here is absolute immersion and it just looks 
gorgeous. I mean, I love this. That palette looks so grey. I don't want to go there. Kind of liking the look of this one. But god damn it. I mean, just, just like I say, the immersion levels are just through the roof when it comes to this. Okay, let's go in here, I guess. This looks very intense, but I'm going to fly straight into its iris slash bunghole and see what happens. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I appear to have flown into your actual eyeball. <laughs> How very awkward. The hell is this thing? Suck me in, baby. Sucky sucking in. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to Command Center. Good God. Oh. You are fairly hideous. Look at this from where a space battle's gone on. There's like freight ships been blown up and crap. Wow, what a pretty galaxy. What kind of crazy war happened here? Just give me my gun. Can I get into this? Oh my god, there's good stuff in there. Hello. There. Cargo pod. Oh, goop. No fighting on me, Mr. Plant. You're dead now. Yeah, this is so vivid. This is so beautiful. This this is possibly the best looking PSVR 2 game currently to date. Uh, I actually think I can say that with some level of confidence. Um... I think there are other games that utilize the PSVR 2 better. Stuff like Resident Evil does pretty damn mighty fine job before anyone comments that down below. But yeah, this might be one of the vastest PSVR 2 games we've got. Almost one of the vastest um, VR games that we've got, to be honest. I mean, like there, there, there is literally endless possibilities that can happen in this game. And uh, yeah, there is non-stop potential for uh, cool things to happen. Well, there you go, everybody. We've seen some weird things. We've done some cool things. And once again, we have ventured into No Man's Sky. This is like the third or fourth time I've done this in VR. Checking out updates, seeing what's going on with things. Honestly, pretty dang impressed with the way that this looks. I'm pretty dang impressed with the way this runs. And hopefully I'm pretty dang impressed with the way that this is captured as well. Because you never really know until you've captured. The joy of virtual reality. And also, you never know when squid arms are going to come out of the ground at you. So think about life when you move loose. <laughs> like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Uh, other than that, I've been Raced King, checking out No Man's Sky once again, and I'll catch you in the next video. Man, I almost sounded like Markiplier. Peace out. Goodbye.